All right. I need a new tunnel bender. So this is what I'm in the process of doing. Took some of this solid brass round that I have. Turned a couple of pieces to fit an old 41 millimeter fork tube that has uh, 3 8 uh, 16 threads per inch in the end. We got some one inch by quarter inch thick steel flat that's going to separate the rollers that are actually going to bend the tunnel and also act as the leverage arms to bend the tunnel. So, uh, depending upon what size rollers you're actually going to use, uh, the spacing will be different. All right, I have some pieces together here of the tunnel bender. Uh, we've got a piece of black pipe here that outside diameter measures a little bit bigger than inch and seven eighths, which is the size of the tunnel I want. We have the arms right here that are going to be used to space the roller and the tunnel form. And we have the whole thing kind of welded together so that we're going to get a good amount of torque on it and leverage. Here's a picture of the shape of the angle iron welded to the tube without the bending arm on so that you can see that it's drilled and tapped right here for 3816, same as the tap on the roller. You need to have those pieces clearanced on the horizontal section and leave the vertical right here so that you can swing this piece all the way up and all the way down so that the position for the arm will be down so that you can have your metal which is going to form your tunnel between the two rollers. Alright, now for the two tests, see if this thing actually works. spring back so be able to put it right back. There we go. A 16 gauge tunnel.